to look at another boat and this is a little bit different than uh, the boat you're thinking of or the boat that we usually go look at um, as you as you know I'm going to do a lot of canoeing and camping and wanting to do a bunch of fishing and some you know bushcraft survival and things of that nature so I've been looking for the past week now for a really nice fishing boat and I'm looking for something for about 16 foot with a decent motor on it, trailer, uh, live well, something that's got a, a wooden, uh, um, you know, a bed in it or whatever you want to call it, you know, platform where you can walk, the nice high back chairs that you can stand in and fish off of. And I found one, so we went three hours south of where I live. That's about the best I could find. And a guy was, uh, I just, I kind of caught this guy off guard a little bit I think because he's moving so he has to get rid of this thing so he wanted two for it I think it's probably worth that um, a little bit of construction here we're uh, way down by Benton Harbor and uh, anyway we are uh, um, what was I gonna say oh anyway yeah I, I said I'll come down and I'll come down it looks good on as long as the engine's running good and everything's good on it and everything, I will come down. I'll give you 1500 bucks cash right now, and uh, I'll come and get it today. And I didn't think he would go for it, but he texted back and said, uh, I'll do it. I'll, I'll do it. If you'll come today, I'll do it, because I have to get things squared away. So we're gonna we're heading down to take a look at it. Everything looks good. We're going to hook on, take it back. And, uh, yeah, it'll be a great thing. We can put the canoe on there. I can put my uh, generator in there bunch of my stuff to extra storage in there we can keep the van and uh, you know uh, work on that and then we will be able to do some great uh, um, you know inline lake fishing and we can go out and hit Drummond Island we can go out and hit Grand Isle I mean we can just do a we can open up a lot of really cool stuff for uh, this coming summer's uh, videos and stuff um, you know we can go down through pictured rocks we can uh, hit some of the really good lakes that I've always wanted to hit for fishing. Lake Gogebic, Great Walleye Lake. Um, so anyway, yeah, there's just a ton of stuff. So we are on our way to go check this thing out. So let's see what, uh, let's hope like heck the pictures uh, uh, did it justice and uh, it is what it is here. guys there's the there's the boat and we ended up getting it back home and uh, it's pretty nice 16 foot a little over 16 and a half feet it's got a 15 horse 7 root on it runs pretty good uh, I just put some I just put these cleats on here to kind of snug it up there's one here and one down there just kind of snug it up at the dock or something like that and uh, yeah we've got our fishing poles in there and we are ready to do some serious fishing and uh, hitting the uh, we got a nice live well in here so we can carry minnows and all that we got a nice little storage unit in here we can store stuff even got a fish finder in there I don't think it really works but we'll have to probably get something uh, get a new one but two nice chairs I got one chair I'm gonna try and replace here and a brand new battery um, just filled it up with uh, fuel and put uh, the Evan Rude mixture in there so it's ready to go we're gonna try and go out and fish Monday and uh, me and my dad and uh, the other thing we're on uh, we're on a mission here is we're gonna try and put a window in this uh, in the van um, I took this out of a RV 
we're going to try and see if we can't cut that in there and put that in there just to give us a some light and have a window i think that'll help open it up a little bit and we're going to do some readjustments readjustments in the van we took the canoe off for right now because uh i'm gonna maybe try and sand it i'm trying to measure up for a solar panel um and see if that's going to fit on there and then the canoe maybe we'll fix some kind of a little rack or something we put the canoe right on here too i don't know but uh i do have a couple of rollers that roller there i'd like to replace that roller get a brand new one put it on there and uh, the rest of its bunks but uh yeah it pulls really well i pulled it back about uh, 150 miles um so anyway i'm going to uh i'm going to monkey around with a couple of things here and that's going to be it but yeah we're looking at a some really good fishing and uh, canoeing and adventures uh, for this coming uh, summer. Can't wait. We're going to get out of here in about a week and head north. So, yeah, um, I don't know if you guys can uh, see me very well or whatever, but we did pick up the boat. Um, we've done a bunch of stuff to it. And the plan is, is um, yeah, we can really do some really cool stuff with that. Uh, my plan is uh, to put a, uh, I've got a small tent that'll fit in there and everything. So we're going to run up a couple of m big rivers, like the Tequamanon River. We'll go well all the way up to the falls, and we'll camp right in the boat, and then we'll fish up there below the falls. I always did really good with walleye up there on the on that, uh, down in there, and then uh, pike and muskie all the way back and stuff. And then I've got a couple other lakes and stuff. I'm thinking I can go out around the backside of a, a couple of islands and stuff and then uh, fish and then stay right in the boat in the tent and everything and then fish again in the morning and that. So that's part of that. Um, I am thinking about going to possibly Isle Royal. Um, what we'll do is we'll go from Minnesota over. It's about uh, 13 miles from the shore to Isle Royal. And on a great calm day, we can shoot across there without any trouble. I'm going to pick up a, uh, um, a, an electric motor for that and then maybe a new fish finder. I've got this fish finder working, but I think I'm going to pick up a new fish finder. Probably a, maybe even a used one. I just want something that gives me depth and temperature and, and that. Um, so I can, I, I pretty much know a lot of the lakes I've gone to. So I've been researching out. We're out of here in a couple of days. I'm just buttoning everything up. <coughs> and getting everything ready to go and we're out of here and we're going to go fish a bunch of cool lakes over here over uh, east of here and work our way north because all the fishing is open at this point right now and uh, yeah so we're going to be doing some of that a um, couple of these lakes that I'm going to right now, we'll end up just using the canoe on there. See if we can get some pike and stuff. But uh, it's going to be it's going to be an amazing summer. Uh, I think it's going to be an amazing summer. Uh, we're going to cover pictured rocks with the boat, which we can get some really cool footage. It's just a beautiful place. We're going to run out on Grand Isle and spend the night out there and uh, hike in to Echo Lake. Um, and I can fill I'll fill you in on this Grand Isle thing because. In, in, when I was in college, uh, one of my one of my big projects was to um, write a me and three other guys or two other guys. It was three of us. We were going to write a, a major proposal because the U.S. Uh, um, National Park Service bought Grand Isle, which is a huge island, and we did as one of our big thesis or our big projects for uh, uh, re, uh, I think it was research in Grand uh, Grant management for uh, land management or something like that we wrote a huge proposal of, as to what they would do this island and what campgrounds they put on there what what uh, uh, roads they put in there not roads but hiking trails and uh, all that stuff so we did a, we spent like a week over there hiking around and getting into all them places and writing all this stuff up so i want to go into echo lake echo lake's got some uh, bluegills in it and some uh, uh, northern pike in it so i'd like to hike into there um and it's just a really, really cool and beautiful uh, island. And uh, so we're going to hit that. Uh, I have to go meet my daughter because we're going to get her solar system all working in her van. I'm going to put a 345 watt solar panel on the van here with a couple of uh, AGM batteries and my inverter and stuff like that. So I got a little bit of that. Um, just, man, a ton of stuff is rocking and rolling. Everything is just really moving along. 
So that's where we're at. So anyway, I'm going to get this up for you guys, this little bit that you can see the boat and everything. And then we're out of here in a couple of days, so we're going to start uploading. I'm going to try and upload at least two a week for you guys, at least two videos a week, because we are going to be camping and fishing and hitting lakes you know every day so they're going to be a lot of footage and stuff so um anyway that's where it's at i appreciate you guys subscribing i appreciate you guys watching i appreciate you being a part of my channel and everything like that i'm getting a lot of really cool people on here i appreciate it. it's great and uh hey it's all i can say is peace out we'll see you in the next video which will be on a lake mm -hmm.